Um, I think some of the benefits of blended learning would be the individualized instruction that I'm able to provide my students as opposed to doing 20 minutes of whole group instruction. My students are getting their lessons um, online and they're active, interactively working with the lessons at their desk while I'm able to pull small groups of students. And it's very self-paced um, where my students have some choice on where they want to go um, as far as stations are concerned um, with following a checklist. Well, the benefits as I see it, um, the students can learn more. I can get more accomplished within the hour and 10 minutes that um, we're working. Um, I have the opportunity to work with smaller groups of students who are struggling in one area. Um, I also get the opportunity to push students forward who need to move on. Um, it's just a great thing to use in the classroom if you're looking, if you have different levels of students in your classroom like we all do. Um, it's just great and the students just love it. biggest challenges to blended learning are the planning. Um, I wouldn't say it's a challenge, it's just a lot of work when you really think about it. You're taking an entire unit, you're making all of the instructional videos for that entire unit and then not only that, you have different stations that you know the students are required to get to that um, go along with the skills from the lessons online. And then I would say the second biggest challenge is making sure um, the students do not fall behind since it is self paced you don't want to make you want to make sure that students aren't too far behind really having the time to create the videos that I want to use in the classroom um, just last night I was able to create two videos um, for the students to use next week but I would like to have you know a week's work but that's my biggest challenge you know with my home life and other subject areas that I have to teach um, just creating the videos that's my biggest challenge